welcome to part four of my Pilates Beginners Workout. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do lateral work and back work. So lateral is the side of the body, so working the muscles all the way down the side of the abdominal side of the legs, and the back, so working the upper back in particular. Now this is part four and it is a sequence of movements. So there are three other videos, they're all only about 10 minutes each, but I really recommend you go back to those and work through them because I've deliberately filmed this for you so you can run it like a class. You start with part one, then you go two, three, and then four, and this is the last segment of the class. So these are all beginner's exercises and I'm making the assumption that you haven't done a lot of this work before. So you might find some of it's quite easy. Now, if it is, don't worry about it. Don't feel like you're not working hard enough because a lot of people think when they come to Pilates class that if it's not burning, their muscles aren't aching, they're not doing enough. But actually, that's not really the focus. The focus is about working the body in balance, understanding how your body's moving, and that way you're going to get a lot more benefits. You're going to get really good muscle tone. You don't have to lift really heavy weights to have a really toned body. It's really about how you apply yourself to it. So be really patient with it. Listen to my instructions. See if you can do these little bits of corrections and things that I talk about as you work your way through the movements. Okay, so enough said. Let's get started. So you're going to start by lying down on your side. We call this side lying neutral. Okay, so we've talked in earlier videos about neutral position of the spine. This is the side lying position. So I'm just going to prop my head up for a second so I can show you what I want you to do. So I want you to look at your own body. You're lying on your side and I want you to get this top hip directly above the one below. So in other words, we don't want the hips rolling back like this or rolling forward like this. We want to be completely on our side. And it's going to feel really unstable. You're going to feel this kind of movement. And that's the whole point. Okay, if you're a little bit unstable, it's going to make your body, your muscles here and underneath here work harder to keep you in position. So that, that's why we're doing it. Okay, your feet are going to be slightly forward of your hips. And then you're going to lay your head down on your arm like this with the hand in front of the chest, okay? So draw the tummy muscles in. Taking a deep breath in, you're just going to breathe out and raise the top leg up. And then you're going to breathe in to lower. Now, this isn't about how high you go. I want your knee to stay facing forward, okay? So it's not going to go as high as it would if it was turning out. But we want to work the side of the leg, side of the hip. So we're going to lift and lower. So it's exhale to lift, inhale to lower, exhale to lift, inhale lower, exhale lift, and lower, and one more, exhale lift, and lower. Okay, now we're going to add to this. So you're going to raise the top leg just to about in line with the hip. And as you breathe out, you're going to try and bring that other leg up to meet it. Stay balanced on your side. And then you're going to lower them both. So this is where it gets a bit more tricky. So it's an inhale, exhale, and lower. Inhale, exhale, second leg up, and lower. So as we're lifting these legs, we're thinking of extending the legs out. So you're thinking nice long line in the body. Inhale. Exhale, and lower. You're trying to stay balanced on that one little hip, and up, and lower one more time. Inhale, exhale to lift, and lower. Now you're going to keep the tummy pulling in. We're going to try and lift them both. So take a deep breath in. Breathe out, and then float both legs up. And then you're going to breathe in to lower. And again, breathe out, lift them both up. And breathe in to lower. Good. So as you're lifting like this, you're trying to stay balanced on your side. And lower. You try not to roll back or roll forward. Good. Lift. And lower. Well done. Exhale, lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. I think we'll do two more. Exhale, lift. And 
and lower. And last one, exhale, lift. And lower. So now you're going to bend your knees. You're going to push up and you're going to come up onto your elbow. Okay, this is the side bend. So this is an absolute beginner's level that we're doing. So you're going to make sure your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. Okay, and then from there we're going to have the knees bent. We're going to have the arm out to the side like this. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to lift the body up. So you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to lift up like this. And you're going to take the arm over. Then you're going to breathe in. We call this the T position. And then you're going to breathe out to lower down. Okay, so deep breath in. Lifting up. And exhale as you go over. Going over, you're looking down towards your elbow. Inhale. And exhale to lower down. Good, so deep breath in. And your arm is drawing like the shape of a rainbow, I always think, when I do this one. And it frames your face, yeah, like this. So it's around your face, it's not across your face. And then you come up and lower down. So it's deep breath in. And exhale over. Inhale. And exhale down. And one more deep breath in. And exhale over. Inhale and exhale to come down. Okay, so now we've worked the side of the leg, the side of the hip, all this side of the body. We've also worked the underneath with the lift. So now we're going to switch sides and do everything on the other side. Okay, so turning around, lying down once again. So you're going to go back to lining up that body, finding that side neutral position. So you've got the hand out. The feet slightly forward, hips one hip on top of the other, head is resting down like this, and the hand is here. Okay, so draw the tummy muscles in, and then you're going to breathe out to lift. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out to lift. And lower. So what you're trying to focus on is lifting the leg without the pelvis moving. Okay, so we do a lot of work on concentrating on certain areas of the body in Pilates. This one's all about maintaining this position. So you've really got to use the core to stay still. Exhale, lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. I'm going to do it two more times. Lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. Now, the next stage of the exercise is to breathe in to lift the top leg, just a hip height. Breathe out, bring the other leg up to meet it, and lower them both. So you're going to inhale, exhale, and lower. It gets a little bit more challenging now, doesn't it? Inhale, exhale, and lower. Inhale, exhale, and lower. So we're always reaching out with these legs. Exhale. And lower. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. And lower. And inhale. Exhale. And lower down. Now think of lengthening through the body, pulling the tummy muscles in. So really engaging here. We're going to lift them both up. So you're going to exhale to lift. And inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. And inhale lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale lower. Exhale to lift. And lower. So you're lifting up. See if you can focus on that balance on that one little hip bone. And lower. And exhale lift. And lower. Two more times. Lift. And lower. And exhale. Lift. And lower. Then we're going to bend the legs. We're going to come into the side bend. Okay, so that's the elbow right under your shoulder. Legs are bent. 
and then the hand is out to the side like this, okay? So this is where we lift on up. So you're going to breathe in, lifting up. Breathing out, you take the arm over, and as you do, you're trying to create more of a bend in your side. Inhale, come to the T position, and exhale to lower down. And take a deep breath in, and exhale over. Inhale to the T, and exhale to lower. Good, deep breath in, and exhale over. Inhale to the T and lower down. We're going to do two more. Deep breath in and exhale over. Inhale to the T and lower down. And deep breath in and over. And inhale to the T position and lower down. Very good. So that's all our side work done. So now we're going to do one back extension and then we'll finish there for today. So you're going to come and lie down on your front this time. Okay, so completely on your front. You're going to have your legs together and you're going to have your hands by your side like this. Okay, so the hands are reaching down towards the thighs. You're going to draw your shoulders down and you're going to try and create a nice line here through the neck so we're not letting the head hang, but equally we're not going to be doing this because we don't want to be hurting our neck. So reach the neck out and then we're going to take a deep breath in and as you breathe in, you're going to start to raise the chest away from the mat. Your eye line is down because we're trying to work the very top of the spine and then you're going to breathe out to lower down. So you're going to inhale, lifting up. Think of your shoulder blades drawing away from the ears, lengthening through the spine, and lowering down. And what often happens is we feel it here. So I want you to just tuck the bottom in slightly so you can't work from your lower back. You're going to focus on lifting the upper part of your spine. So breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in to lift. And breathing out. So a lot of people find this one very difficult. It looks quite simple, doesn't it? But really, trying to get to this part of the back, a lot of people find hard these days because we spend so much time looking at computers and looking at our phones. It doesn't get used so much. So we're really trying to open up the back and down. Um, and last one, breathing in, lifting up, lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. Good. And lowering all the way back down. And you're going to bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Pull your tummy muscles in. You're going to push up. And you're just going to sit back on your heels. You're going to take your head down. And take a few deep breaths there. Well, and then we're going to slowly come on up. Good. So we're going to leave it there today. So that's a very short uh, tutorial, which is part four of my beginner's workout. So I want you to work on those. And as with the other ones, try and work through in sequence. Keep going over and over and over. Every time you go over it, you're going to learn something new about yourself, how your body moves, and enjoy it. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.